Welcome to the Atlanta Beltline. Come explore the unique places that connect 45 neighborhoods throughout Atlanta and discover the history, beauty, and sense of community that make our city unique. Today, my friends, we go west. We're here in Northwest Atlanta exploring West Side Park, Atlanta's newest and largest green space. The park is located in the historic Grove Park neighborhood alongside Howell Station, Knight Park, and West Highlands. Hey guys, I'm Sunday Otter Rush, a volunteer with the Atlanta Beltline Partnership. I am a native and transplant of Atlanta. I've been involved with the Beltline Project for more than a decade, and I am excited to show you all around this amazing, eco-fabulous green space. Let's do this. Getting to the West Side Park is easy for anyone. Whether you bike in from Proctor Creek Greenway, stroll in from the nearby neighborhood, catch MARTA to the Bankhead Station, or drive in through one of the main entrances on Johnson Road, there's tons of stuff for the whole family to love. This striking dinosaur ribcage sculpture was created specifically for the park by John Portman and Associates. Once inside, thanks to the Atlanta Department of Parks and Rec, along with support from the Arthur M. Blank Family Foundation, you can take advantage of a whole host of amenities, including two and a half miles of ADA accessible trails, convenient playground and picnic areas, beautiful open green space, native landscapes, and some amazing views. This space has previously been the location for popular TV and film productions like Hunger Games, Stranger Things, and Fast and Furious. Now the park is perfect for hosting festivals and community events, including the park's inaugural event, a wildly successful 5K race. The race sold out quickly and proceeds were donated to the Grove Park Neighborhood Association. Here at Westside Park, there's everything you need to enjoy the outdoors. One of the special and very meaningful places in the park is right here, in the shadow of the birth of Atlanta. This stunning art piece was repurposed from the 1996 Olympics to underground Atlanta, and it now welcomes visitors to the city's latest source of pride. Grove Park, the largest neighborhood on the west side of Atlanta, is home to West Side Park. The community was developed in the 1920s and 30s primarily by pharmaceutical magnate Dr. Edwin Wiley Grove. During the 1960s, Grove Park became a thriving African-American community, but suburban growth and challenging times led to a decline in investment into the area. I now want to introduce and chat with Ms. Joyce Finch Morris, a resident of the Grove Park neighborhood who moved away in the 1960s, but now lives back in the neighborhood in her childhood home. When I traveled, I would see things and could do things that I could not do here. You know, I grew up in segregated South. What potential do you see for the future of the neighborhood? Oh, I see a lot of potential. Oh, we have Maddox Park, but nowhere like this. I yeah. Mean, now the Beltline Corridor is, is connecting all of those neighborhoods. Maddox Park, Washington Park, and Grove Park are connected directly by the Beltline. As soon as we can, I can walk to my restaurant, my favorite restaurant, or walk by books. When I was younger, I would have to go to Buckhead. I wanted to go to the mall. Now things are coming to Grove Park. I see a lot of growth here. Well, we appreciate you spending time with us today. Today, community leaders, neighbors, and businesses are joining together to continue purposeful revitalization in and around Grove Park. The Department of Watershed Management collaborated with several partners to manifest the quarry into its current use, including purchasing the land from Vulcan Materials, which operated the quarry in the 1990s. By the way, when visiting this park, do not miss seeing the phenomenal view from the Grand Overlook. It is hands down one of the most spectacular skyline views of that vibrant city in the forest we all know and love so well. Through the vision of the Trust for Public Land, the centerpiece of the park is the 400 foot deep reservoir that contains 2.4 billion gallons and connected to the Chattahoochee River via a five mile tunnel and can supply 30 days of emergency drinking water to our city. But like many stories in Atlanta's history, it's a mix of pride as well as pain. This breathtaking overlook and reservoir was once the Bellwood Convict Labor Camp. Following the Civil War through the 1940s, 
Slavery, by another name, forced men into grueling work in the quarry through horrific conditions. Today, the evolution of the quarry and the park itself stands as a reminder of how Atlantans must learn from our history as we continue to build a city that stands for all of us. The reservoir's water flow is controlled here, inside this massive pump house with striking aesthetics. It's just one of the many cool and intriguing sights that are worth seeing for yourself here at Westside Park. And the best part about all this, this is just phase one of the build out. The Atlanta Beltline Partnership is raising philanthropic funds to ensure this iconic green space continues to grow, spearheaded by community engagement and future collaborations with the city of Atlanta. Ultimately, the park will connect to the Beltline Trail Corridor, so keep watch on all the progress to come, and we'll see you again soon out here on the Atlanta Beltline.